How's it going? So, thank you for coming to this channel, Yes Flip the Tables. I have too many things to say to you about everything that I'm involved in right now. And if you can see my eyebrows, don't laugh. Okay, if you want to laugh, that's okay. I have a sense of humor. So, I'm, through, I'm in the car wash. That's what I do, right? I like to make these videos when I'm in the car wash, when I'm driving around. Why? Because the lighting's amazing outside, okay? And these are my Glow FX sunglasses. Do you like that? And I'm wearing MAC lipstick. So, okay. I don't, I don't know all the answers to everything. I'm very humble enough to say I need help. You can fill in the blank about what kind of help you think I need. That's okay. I have a sense of humor about myself. Now, this is the reality. Look at these eyebrows. <laughs> okay, like, look. I have the day off of work today. I look like Eddie from the Munsters. I am experimenting with my eyebrows. Okay? <laughs> look. You might think that that's normal for uh, because you are a makeup artist. I don't think that that's normal. I like my eyebrows to look natural. I actually have super thick natural eyelashes. I mean eyebrows. And I pluck them to death. So, look, I need help. I need help with my makeup. Uh, I don't know how to do my eyebrows. I know how to do the rest of my makeup just fine, I think. Alright, look at that. The car wash is over. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> this is how this is how unorganized my videos are. If you haven't looked to see what my video channel is about, look. Okay, please do. It's about coming out of be ashes into beauty coming out from traumatic experiences and rising up through it okay you know like a phoenix so I'm purposefully not editing I'm not using a fancy computer so that I can just be real in real time and totally authentic this is my calling card this is how you and the whole community are going to understand how legit I am and authentic I am you can judge for yourself okay so in this video I'm just gonna be doing kind of like a bit of a rant because uh, as we rise up out of the ashes there is all kinds of opposition this is normal if you decide to ever read the book of Psalms from the Bible, from the King James Version, or whatever version you prefer, I prefer King James Version. It's amazing because it talks about constantly us and them, the wicked and the righteous, the oppressors and his chosen. Like, look, is that bold? Yeah. And that's what I'm doing. That's who I am. I am bold as heck. Okay? <laughs> and... Somewhere, someone decided that, that they're just going to be on the opposing team at all costs. So you're going to see that I'm, I'm ranting about some of these people. So, okay, where, I, where, where I'm living, it's like, to me, it's like Shawshank Redemption. It's like prison. It's like people who are sitting around uh, always being busybodies. Yeah, I'm saying it. They are acting like prison guards. What are you doing? Where are you going? Who are you calling? When are you going to do it? I mean, what? It's none of your business. So here's the thing. I, most people, they really, like me, you just go, okay, um, and you try to just turn it around and make fun of it, you know, or be playful and not be all, like, offended and pissed off. I'm tr I've been trying to be diplomatic about it the whole the whole time I've lived there and I've lived at this place for a year okay <laughs> but the more that I present the vision of the, the beautification project for Pleasant Heights um, you guys there's reasons 
It's just unbelievable. First of all, I gotta say before I finish my thought, is this place, you know, it's been, um, it's been in existence since 1970. It used to be a elderly home, okay? Uh, again, you can make $40,000 a year and live there, okay? You're not completely destitute on food stamps, disability, whatever. You can have a job. You just can't exceed over $40,000 a year. That's the reality. It's a perfect place to, um, you know, get your get on your feet and then go to the next place, like own a, owning a home or something, okay? But... Whatever reason, look, I'm not, I'm seriously not trying to judge the situation. That's my point. There are people who come through there, they get on their feet, and then they move. But there's a lot of people, me included, we, we all just go like, holy crap, where am I and why? You know, and it's like depressing as hell. All right, that's the reality. And so what I'm doing is I'm flipping the tables. I am projecting who I am and the vision and I'm, I'm doing something that is beyond my ego and necessity to, to change my environment. It isn't even about that. It's about something so huge and dynamic. Okay. And because I'm not, I'm not used to being so boastful and egotistical and arrogant, actually, I'm not used to being so open and projecting my thoughts. I keep a lot to myself. I, I figure stuff out before I feel 100% confident and then I'm bold to take the risks and fail and learn and all that stuff. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm 47 years old. I'm trying to give back to the community. I'm trying to pay it forward. I'm doing it. God is the one who's in control. He's the one who is making it happen. So literally, he is the one who goes before me. He is the flame. He is the light, not me. I'm just the feet. I'm just the hands. I'm the eyes. I'm the ears. I'm an intercessor. So, all right, back to the rant. So, someone had the audacity to say to me, after I've been given authority, literally authority, Whoa, like I, I was handed, um, I can't even think of what it's called, but if, if I want to go get donations for our Christmas party, you know, gift cards and whatever, I have the, the tax credit code, okay? I've been given permission through the tenant council, okay? Um, so this person had the audacity to say to me, I, you, you, Yvonne, you can't go to large corporations and get donations, it doesn't matter what she thinks she's saying. So I I said I said 10 different ways. I said It's not up to you where I go to try to get donations. It's up to the company and God. So I have the authority. I have the the stamina, the energy, the excitement to go into the community However, I choose to do it, whether it's face to face uh, or by phone or by email, to ask major corporations for donations. Number two, as I'm a brand ambassador, that is a real job. That's something that I'm doing. These people don't have any idea about what I'm doing. So, the doors of opportunity just they just keep opening and it's amazing I'm so excited about life and it is infectious so um hello I worked for cover girl the other day hello as a as a makeup artist and I worked with one of the Chiefs players Travis Kelsey and I worked with all these amazing, outstanding women. And part of the cover girl um, phrase is, you know, it's just, it's about empowering vivid and women and recognizing them and giving them the experience of the beautification process. It's like, it's just absolutely amazing. So it's like the universe is just saying, you're qualified, keep going. You're qualified, keep going, okay? 
even amongst all of the makeup artists in that moment, I don't know, maybe there was 12 of us makeup artists. When Travis Kelsey chose to do his, his, his bit through um, his people, his camera moment of documenting the experience, he came up to me, okay? The lady that I was doing the makeover on, he recognized that she was gorgeous as she was and didn't need makeup. And that's exactly what I told her two seconds prior to him showing up. So, all I did with this lady's beautiful face and the makeup she already had was I made it shine. And I used the, the True palettes to, to make her sparkle. I just exemplified the beauty that she already had. It was an astounding, awesome moment, okay? So the way that I see things is about, it's about opportunity and it's about the future connections and opportunities. You and I don't have any idea necessarily of what will come next. But I know that I was sitting there with the sponsors of the event. It was me and the lady to my, to my right. We were the two that they chose to come to for their little beauty makeover. And I grabbed the phone from the one from the lady and said, can I take your, I, I mean, I didn't grab the phone. I said, can I, can I take pictures of your experience? I said, sure. So I took pictures of her experience and then I handed the phone back to her. And then two minutes later, she was like, can you take some more pictures? I'm like, okay. You know, what I mean? that's what we do as a brand ambassador. It's more than what you can even imagine what it is. It's like PR. It's you're, you're encouraging, you're clapping, you're cheering. It's like enthusiasm. All right. So, I got three more minutes left. So my rant is when this person who is in the building and she's saying to me that I can't go to corporate places, I can't go to big corporations, I can't, I can't. You know, that's all I hear is I hear her saying I can't. And is that normal? That's normal, okay? That's normal in everywhere you go when you're trying to do something extreme for change, for the good. But I basically just flipped it on its head and I put it in her face and say, lady, I'm not trying to be a, a jerk. I'm trying to say, why are you acting like you are a, uh, you know, a, a, a warden of a prison or a prison guard? I mean, why are you telling me that it's, it's cause this is what she ended up saying. She was like, you gotta follow the rules and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, look, why are you even talking to me like this? Who are you that you have to have this moment in time to, pry, to try to stop me? Who are you? So do you see, if you, if you watch any of my other videos, you'll start to understand. This is my reality. I come up against this opposition and I let the world know that I'm not afraid to challenge it. That's the reason why I made all the other videos so that you can see the hand of God, that it's him. It is God. God is the one who makes all the darkness revealed by his light. Okay. So once we understand our position, we don't have anything to fear. Do you know how many times it says, do not fear or do not be afraid in the Bible? 365 times. So, you know, all right. And I just want to give a shout out to my friend in the UK, Sarah Hamilton. She is amazing. There's so many amazing women on my path right now. It's just amazing. They're, they're beautiful, beautiful women who are encouraging and uplifting. Um, MJ, she is great. Treva, Donna, even Janice. And there's so many more that I just can't even think of right now. You know who you are. I work with you. We go out together. I'm so excited about life and I want you to be encouraged to just keep on keeping on. I'm in your corner and you have my number if you need backup. Bye.